Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the future. So we will use the simple future tenses, will and be going to. Now with these two tenses, will and be going to, we always use the simple form of the verb. Let's look at some vocabulary. Okay, first we have invent new machines. This is to create or make something new. Invent new machines. Or discover new medicines. So you find new medicines to treat illnesses. Live on the moon. Live on the moon. Work on a space station. Work on a space station. And use the internet. Use the internet. Clone people and animals. So make copies of people and animals. Clone people and animals. We will also be able to travel to other planets in the future. Travel to other planets. Okay, now let's look at some sentences using this new vocabulary. Please take a look at your screen. One day, people will live on the moon and work on space stations. In the future, everyone will use the internet. Do you think we will clone people or animals in the future? In the next 50 years, maybe people will travel to other planets. Scientists will probably invent new machines and discover new medicines. Let's look at the table to follow the different uses of be going to and will. All right, the first future tense, to be plus going to plus the simple verb form. For example, he is going to learn French. Okay, when we use this tense, be going to, it's talking about a plan or an intention. Next example is using to be going to plus simple verb or will plus simple verb. For example, she is going to pass her exams or she will pass her exams. So this is a prediction and there is no difference in meaning between she is going to pass or she will pass. They mean the same. Next example, we see the future tense using will plus the simple verb form. For example, I will call you tonight. And this is a promise. So for promises, we use will plus the simple verb form. Next, will plus simple verb form to talk about a decision at the time of speaking. For example, I will answer the phone. So we make that decision at the moment of speaking. So we always use will. Okay, will plus simple verb form. For example, will you pass me the pen? This is used as a polite question. So, will as a polite question. Next, will plus simple verb form. For example, she will be 20 next year. So, here we're talking about certain future. Okay, let's look at some useful time expressions that we use to talk about future time. Soon, later, this afternoon, later this evening, this weekend, tonight, 
tomorrow, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, next week, next month, next year, in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, in a couple of months, in a couple of years, in a week, in a month, in a year, within one day, within one week, within one month, within one year. One day used for a general future time, but we don't know exactly when. All right, here are some examples using these time expressions in sentences about the future. Take a look at your screen. I will see you soon. She is going to go to Canada in a couple of weeks. We are going to have a barbecue this weekend. My daughter is going to go to university next year. In 2023, the Turkish Republic will be 100 years old. One day, people will live in space. Okay, let's practice using will and be going to. Sylvia, do you have any plans for this evening? Yes, I'm going to meet my boyfriend this evening. Very good. Linda, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to go shopping. What are you going to buy? I don't know. Maybe I'll buy some new clothes. Excellent. Alberto, what are you going to do after class? Mm, I think I'll go home after class. Okay. Why did Sylvia use going to when she answered my question? Um, she used going to because she made a plan for this evening. Uh, she didn't need to think about what she is going to do. That's right. Thank you, Linda. Good. Alberto, why did Linda say that she is going to go shopping? Linda said that she is going to go uh, shopping she, because she already knows what uh, she has planned for the weekend. Very good. And why did Linda use will when she said maybe? Here she used will because she doesn't have a plan. She is guessing what may happen, but she is not sure. That's right. Good. So she doesn't need to think about a plan because she made a plan before I asked a question. Okay, let's see. It's your turn, Sylvia. Why did Alberto say that he will go home? He used will because he decided what to do when you asked the question. He had no plan before, you, before he spoke to you. Yes, that's right. We usually use will with expressions like I think or I guess or maybe because we need to think of the answer when someone asks a question. Now, if we want to say negative things about the future, we can say the following. Please take a look at your screen. Am not going to, isn't going to, aren't going to, will not, and we usually shorten this to won't. Sometimes when we speak, we make the sentence shorter by joining the pronoun and the verb. Look at the table to see how people speak when they use to be plus going to or will. I, I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'll, I won't. He, he's going to. He's not going to. He'll, he won't. She, she's going to. She's not going to. She'll, she won't. It, it's going to. It's not going to. It'll, it won't. We, we're going to. We're not going to. Well, we won't. They, they're going to. They're not going to. They'll, they won't. You, you're going to, you're not going to, you'll, 
you won't. Also, when we English or Americans speak, we often say, I'm gonna, not I'm going to. But we don't write it this way. It's just spoken this way. Take a look at some examples. I'm gonna go to Paris next year. I'll meet you at 8 o'clock. She'll be 20 in June. They're going to get married next year. I think it'll be a nice day tomorrow. Now, I want you to tell me something that you are not going to do in the future. All right, Sylvia, you start. I'm not going to play tennis when I am 60 years old. All right, Alberto. I'm not going to have 10 children. Wow, that's good. Linda? I'm not going to live on the moon. Okay, great. Now, we're going to look and listen. Look and listen. Alberto is not going to have 10 children. Linda isn't going to live on the moon. Sylvia is not going to play tennis when she is old. We aren't going to have time machines. They are not going to be clones. Read and repeat. Okay, now let's look at some more examples of how we use to be plus going to and will. We're going to look at conversations between two friends, Susan and Mike. Take a look at these sentences. Did you call Stephen? No, but I will call him now. So, Mike decides to call Susan now because Susan reminded him, helped him not to forget. Next example. I am going to call Stephen this evening. Do you want to speak to him? No, thanks. I spoke to him this morning. So, Susan is telling Mike about her plan to call Stephen. She decided to call Stephen before she spoke to Mike. Next conversation. My brother is going to stay with me for a few days. Great, I will call him tomorrow. Susan is telling Mike about something that was decided before she started speaking to Mike. Mike answers with will because he decides at that moment of speaking to call Stephen tomorrow. Next conversation. My brother is staying with me this week. I know, we are going to meet tomorrow at the cafe for a chat. So Mike is using to be plus going to because he made plans before now to meet Stephen. Next example. Where are you going? I'm going to go out for a walk. It's a nice day. So here, Mike uses to be plus going to because he decided to go out for a walk before Susan asked him where he's going. Okay, we've been looking at how we can use two different forms of the su simple future tense and how they are sometimes different. Now, let's talk together about the future. I'm going to ask you some questions about your future plans after you finish university. Alberto, what are your plans after you finish university? I'm going to do a master's degree in engineering. Oh, good luck. Linda, what are you going to do after you graduate? I'm going to get married after I finish university. Oh, congratulations. Sylvia, what are you going to do after you graduate? I'm not sure. I think I'll go to America to practice my English and study. Okay. 
Well, you all seem to have some good ideas about what you want to do when you leave university. Do you like watching science fiction films? What are science fiction films? Science fiction films are films about what we think the future will be like. We often see aliens from outer space, from other planets and spaceships, or monsters in science fiction films. Do you mean films like Star Wars? Yes, Star Wars is a science fiction film. Yes, I love watching science fiction films. Alberto, do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't like science fiction movies. Okay, let's talk about the future. It could be science fiction. What do you think life will be like in 200 years? Do you think that people will live in space? Do you think technology will be different? Sylvia, what do you think life will be like in 200 years? I think that we will all live in big cities and we will have flying cars. Good. Linda, what do you think life will be like in the future? I think that we will all dress as the same and there will be lots of robots everywhere. Very good. Alberto, what do you think life will be like in 200 years? Mm, I think that we will all look the same because we will all be clones. Oh, I don't want that to happen. Do you think that people will live on the moon? Sylvia, what do you think? Um, I think that uh, we will live on the moon because there will be too many people on Earth. Oh, okay, yes. I think that will be a problem in the future. What do you think houses will be like in the future? What kinds of technology will we use? Alberto, what do you think technology will be like in 50 years? I think uh, there will be lots of machines and computers in every house. Okay. Linda, what do you think? I think there will be lots of robots. All right. Sylvia, what do you think about houses in the future? I think that uh, we are going to spend more time at home with our families. And I think that uh, a lot of the people work at home. Okay, that's a nice idea. Now we will do some exercises. Look at the sentences and use will or to be going to. Sometimes you may need to add a verb to complete the sentence. First one, we mm -hmm. go to the beach tomorrow. Do you want to come? I'm not sure. I mm -hmm. tell you later. We are going to go to the beach tomorrow. Good. Do you want to come? I am not sure. I'll tell you later. Good. We are going to go to the beach tomorrow. Do you want to come? I'm not sure. I'll tell you later. Okay, Alberto, you can try this one too. I mm -hmm. go to the cinema. Who wants? to come with me. I am going to the cinema. I am going to go to the cinema. Who wants to come with me? All right, I... Mm -hmm. Who wants to come with me? I will. All right, good. I'm going to go to the cinema. Who wants to come with me? I will. Good. For Linda, mm -hmm. you marry me? Yes, of course, I. Mm -hmm. Will you marry me? Yes, of course, I will. Good. Will you marry me? Yes, of course, I will. All right. Uh, Sylvia, you can try this one. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. marry him. Yes, we mm -hmm. get married next August. Sylvia. Are you going to marry him? Yes, uh -huh. we are going to get married next August. 
Are you going to marry him? Yes, we are going to get married next August. Good. Are you going to marry him? Yes, we are going to get married next August. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Alberto again. Okay, when you go to America, mm -hmm. you write to me. Yes, of course, I mm -hmm. write to you. You are my best friend. Okay, Alberto. When you go to America, will you write to me? Okay. Yes, of course I will write to you. You are my best friend. Good. When you go to America, will you write to me? Yes, of course I will write to you. You are my best friend. Good job, everyone. Now we will look and listen. Look and listen. Scientists will invent new machines in the future. I think that we are going to live on space stations one day. In the future, everyone will have a robot. There are going to be lots of new inventions in the future. Read and repeat. continue, let's review some useful vocabulary so that we can talk about space and technology. Okay, we have scientist, science, space station, invention, machine, discovery, Medicine, space travel, robot, astronaut, planet, and satellite. Now we have scientists, science, space station, invention, machine, discovery, medicine, space travel, robot, astronaut, planet, and satellite. So we can practice making sentences with some of these words. Take a look at your screen. Scientists are going to invent new machines. Next, Astronauts are going to travel into space. Next, people will live on space stations in the future. And people will discover new types of medicine. Scientists are going to discover new planets. All right now, Linda, what are scientists going to do? Scientists are going to invent new machines. Very good. Alberto, what will people discover? People will discover new types of medicine. That's right. Sylvia, where are astronauts going to go? Astronauts are going to travel into space. Very good. Now, we are going to talk about quantifiers and nouns. Quantifiers are special words we use to talk about the amount or quantity of something, how much of something. We use these quantifiers with nouns. Before we look at quantifiers, let's look at how we use nouns. We can separate nouns into two groups. We have 
countable nouns and uncountable nouns. With countable nouns, these are the nouns that can be counted. So we can put a number in front of the noun. And these nouns can be plural. We usually make these nouns plural by adding an S. And they're called regular nouns. OK, let's look at some examples. Astronaut, plural, astronauts. Computer, computers. Idea, ideas. Day, days. Invention, inventions. Planet, planets. Disease, diseases. Some countable nouns are irregular because we do not use an S to make them plural. Look at these examples. Child, children. Woman, women. Man, men. Tooth, teeth. Foot, feet. Fish stays the same. Fish, mouse, and mice. Now, the other group of nouns is called uncountable because we use them for things we can't usually count. So these are nouns that we cannot count. We cannot put a number in front of them. Uncountable nouns. All right, here are some examples of uncountable nouns. Space, traffic, fuel, water, air, information. When we use these nouns, we never add an S because they are not plural. They're not countable. Let's look at some sentences using some of these nouns we just reviewed. Astronauts will travel to many other planets in the future. All the information will be on computers. Scientists are going to invent new machines. We will discover new kinds of fuel. There will not be any air on the moon. People are going to work on space stations. Let's look at some quantifiers that we often use when we speak about the number of people or things. OK, take a look at your screen. All, most, a lot of, lots of, many, much, some, any, a few, a little, Few, little, none. Now, let's look at some graphics explaining these quantifiers. Take a look. So first we have all, which is 100% of something. So all of it, everything. Then just below all, we have almost all, but we call it most. So about 90%. Just below most is many or much. Many is used with countable nouns, much with uncountable nouns. And it's about, oh, 7 to 80 percent. Below that is some, about 50 percent of something. A few or a little. So a few used with countable nouns. A little, used with uncountable nouns, maybe 30%. And below that, few or little. And then, 0%, we have none or no one. 
Now, here are some sentences using these quantifiers. All of us will die one day. Most people say that they will get married. Many people will learn how to drive a car. Some people will have large families. A few people will not get married. Few people are going to have more than 10 children. No one is going to live until they are 300. Now, most quantifiers can be used with any noun, countable or uncountable. But some quantifiers can only be used with countable nouns, and some can only be used with uncountable nouns. So we use many with countable nouns, but we don't use many with non-countable. We use much with uncountable nouns. Okay, when we ask questions, we usually say, how much or how many? Two is always used with negative ideas. So if we are saying something is too much or too many, it's, it's negative. It's so much that it's bad. Let's look at these sentences. How many astronauts will travel to Mars? How much time will it take to travel to Mars? OK, we only use a few or few with countable nouns. And then we use a little or little with uncountable nouns. When we say a few or a little, this usually has a positive meaning when it is used with a positive idea. For example, take a look. He has a few friends. He has a little money. Money and friends are positive ideas. So a few means enough. When we say a few or a little, this usually has a negative meaning when we are talking about negative ideas. Take a look at these examples. They have a few problems. Or we have a little pain. So problems and pain are negative ideas. So to say a few problems or a little pain means some, and it's a negative idea. Also, when we say few or little, this can also change its meaning depending whether or not the sentence is positive or negative. Take a look at these examples. They have few friends. He has little money. Few and little here have a negative meaning with positive ideas, so we use them in a way to mean not enough. Let's look at the meaning of the next two sentences. They have few problems. We have little pain. Now here, few and little are used with negative ideas. So it means a small amount, which is good, a small amount of negative ideas. OK, let's practice using quantifiers with some sentences. Alberto, what do you think life will be like in the future? I think a lot of people are going to live longer because scientists will discover new medicine. All right, very good. Sylvia, what do you think the future will be like? I think that some robots will work for people. OK. Linda, what do you think that life will be like in the future? In a few years, most people will have computers at home. All right, good. 
Alberto, how many people will live in cities in the future? I think most of the people will live in cities in the future. All right, very good. Sylvia, how much land will those cities take? Um, I think the cities will take a lot of land. All right. Linda, do you think people will have a lot of problems? Yes, I think most people will have problems. What kinds of problems will they have? They'll have problems uh, with space for houses. Okay. Sylvia, what do you think? I think all cities will be dirty. Hmm. Alberto, what do you think? I think a few people will be very rich and many will be poor. Okay. Anything more, Sylvia? Uh, maybe there will be a few parks for them. Where will they play, play football? Good question. Anything else, Linda? I think there will be too many people and too little space. Hmm. Doesn't sound very good, does it? Well, you have all done very well. Now we are going to look and listen. Look and listen. Some astronauts will live on space stations. A few space stations will go around the Earth. Many people will live on the moon. A few people will live in the country. Most people will live in cities. Read and repeat. Listen and write. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. In the future, people will live on the moon. Lots of people are going to work at home in the future. How many planets will people travel to? Scientists are going to invent new machines. People are going to live on space stations. Most people will get married. Some people will work in space. How many planets will people live on? I am going to meet a few friends later this evening. People will spend little time cooking. Now check your work. In the future, people will live on the moon. Lots of people are going to work at home in the future. How many planets will people travel to? Scientists are going to invent new machines. People are going to live on space stations. Most people will get married. Some people will work in space. How many planets will people live on? I am going to meet a few friends later this evening. People will spend little time cooking. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. We all sometimes think about what the future is going to be like. Many people think that life in the future is going to be very different. A lot of people say that scientists will invent machines that look like people, and these machines will also be able to talk and move like people. We call these machines robots. If scientists invent robots, will most people feel happy about living and working with machines that can talk and think. Some people think that we will use robots to do dangerous and difficult jobs. 
Some people also think that scientists in the future will discover new medicines. They will help people live a long time. We don't know how many years people will live, but they are probably going to live longer than now. In the future, a few special people, astronauts, will live and work in space. Scientists will build space stations which will travel around the Earth. Some astronauts will also travel to other planets, and maybe one day some people will live all their lives on other planets. Hundreds of years later, no one will remember our home planet, the Earth. Maybe we don't know what will happen, but it is certain that the world is going to be a very different place. Now, answer these questions about the reading. What will we call machines that can think and move like people? Who will invent these machines? How many people say that scientists will invent machines that think and act like people? How will we use robots? What will scientists discover that will help people to live a long time? Which special people will live and work in space? What will travel around the Earth? Who will travel to other planets? In the future, how many people will remember the Earth? What is certain? Now check your answers. What will we call machines that can think and move like people? We will call these machines robots. Who will invent these machines? Scientists will invent robots. How many people say that scientists will invent machines that think and act like people? A lot of people say that scientists will invent machines that think and act like people. How will we use robots? We will use robots to do difficult or dangerous jobs. What will scientists discover that will help people to live a long time? Scientists will discover new medicines that will help people to live a long time. Which special people will live and work in space? Astronauts will live and work in space. What will travel around the Earth? Space stations will travel around the Earth. Who will travel to other planets? Astronauts will travel to other planets. In the future, how many people will remember the Earth? No one will remember the Earth. What is certain? It is certain that the world is going to be a very different place. All right, good job. See you next time. Practicing English. I read this book the other day about life in the future.、Mm -hmm. What did it say? It said that technology will change our lives more than now, even. Tell us more. What is life going to be like for humans in the future? Well, I learned a lot first about what life is like now. Did you know that、uh, people are having computer chips placed under their skin? What for? Well, the computer chip. Allows people to go into certain clubs without waiting. A scanner can detect the chips. The person just goes right through.、Hmm. Airports are also using these chips、uh, to move passengers who fly all the time more quickly through the airports. Wow! I didn't know that. Well, how many of those people have chips in their arms now? 
A few, not very many. But in, in future, they will carry financial information, and they will be used just like a bank account. People will no longer carry real money. They will just have their account balance stored on the chip in their arm. That sounds very weird to me. I think that these stories are a little frightening. But think about how technology has changed our lives. He's right. A few years ago, cell phones were new, and they were really big and expensive. Only a few people had them. Now everyone has them. They are tiny and powerful. My cell phone has internet, internet hookup, and I get my email off it too. Lots of people are afraid of changes, but a lot of changes are good and help us live better lives. But computer chips under people's skin, internet, telephones—some of the things we are talking about are a little scary. Many people are not ready for these things. But that's what people said about radio. But she is right. Many of the things in this book were a little strange, and I like technology. Well, tell me more about this book you read. Lots of it was written recently. The author is from MIT and has done a lot of work with big technology companies. Hey, what does he say about space exploration? Well, he believes that some new discoveries in space. Will prove too interesting for many countries to stop their space programs. He predicts that Mars will be the next place that humans will go to. What do you think of some of his ideas? Well, some of them are really interesting. He says that none of the countries exploring in space now can get things done on their own. It will take cooperating with each other to really make any progress. Like the Russians and Americans are working together now. Yes. But he sees the Japanese and Europeans having a role here too, and India is also developing a space program. So all of these countries will work together to send people to Mars. Yes, that is the prediction. A lot of money will be spent, but many people believe that new energy sources and breakthroughs await us in space. What about all the problems we face right here on our planet now? Angie is right. Some people in big cities live on the streets. They have no homes and they're hungry. A lot of people have no medical insurance when they're ill. Hey, I didn't say I agreed with the writer. I'm just telling you about what he predicted to happen. Well, like a lot of people, I'm worried about issues like global warming and other environmental problems that we have. Many people think that those are more important than going to Mars. Well, there are a lot of ideas that people have about the future. Yes, all this talk about the future has made me tired, and has made me worried. I'm worried too, but there's one thing I know about the future. And what is that? Well, I've eaten too much. If you guys will excuse me, I need to drop the kids off at the pool. Yeah, you. I think you better go right now.